Well, children, in our previous session, we have learned about idioms. An idiom is a phrase or group of words that means something different from the words of which it is made. Children, we have learned many idioms in our last class, isn't it? Can you tell any one idiom? Yes. Once in a blue moon. Yes, once in a blue moon is an idiom. What does it mean? Rarely. Yes, once in a blue moon means rarely. Can you frame a sentence using the idiom once in a blue moon? Yes, Ruby plays tennis once in a blue moon. Oh, that's good. Ruby plays tennis once in a blue moon. That means Ruby plays tennis very rarely. Well, children, in today's session, we will learn about the different forms of a verb. Alright, let's get started. Children, what is a verb? A verb is nothing but an action word. A verb is a word that tells us what somebody or something does. In other words, a verb describes an action. A verb also tells us the time of an action. That is, the action takes place at present or has already taken place in the past. Children, the words like fly, drive, read, flow are some of the examples of verbs. What is a verb, children? Well, a verb is nothing but an action word. Children, in today's class, we will learn about the different forms of a verb. Children, a verb can take different forms in different sentences. The form of a verb may change according to the person, number and tense. A verb can have the following forms like the base form, the yes or es form, the past tense form, the past participle form and the present participle or ing form. The form of a verb shows the time of the action it describes. Children, let's learn in detail about the different forms of a verb. The first one that is simple present tense. The simple present tense is used to indicate the following that is general truths or facts. Look at the example. Trees give oxygen. The word give is a verb which is the base form of a verb. Isn't it children? Trees give oxygen. The simple present tense is used to indicate habits. For example, he goes for a walk every day. Children, the word goes is a verb here. He goes for a walk every day. Children, when we change the subject from he to I, the verb also changes. I go for a walk every day. Children, the word go is a verb here. The simple present tense is used to indicate regular actions. Children, look at the sentence here. The cobbler mends shoes. The word mens is a verb here. The cobbler mens shoes. This sentence shows simple present tense. Children, now let us learn about another form of a verb that is past tense. The simple past tense is formed when we add the suffix ed to base verb. The simple past tense shows an action that happened in the past and is over now. Children, look at the sentence. He worked in Dubai last year. Children, the word worked is a verb which is in past tense. Children, have you noticed? We are adding ed to the base form of verb work. He worked in Dubai last year. Children, for most of the verbs, we usually add ed to form the past tense. Look at the words here. Look, looked. Smile, smiled. Bake, baked. Laugh, laughed. Cook, cooked.
cooked, wash, washed, brush, brushed, clean, cleaned, play, played. Children, have you noticed? For all these words, we are adding ed, isn't it? To form past tense. Children, we usually add ed to the base form of the verb to form the past tense form. Isn't it? Such words are called regular verbs because they follow a regular pattern of adding ed to the base form of the verb to form the past tense. Children, there are certain verbs where we do not add ed to form the past tense. Such words are called irregular verbs. Irregular verbs do not add ed. That is, we do not add ed to the base form of the verb to form the past tense. They completely take different forms. Look at the example shown here. He ran last night. Children, what is the verb in the sentence? Can you identify? Yes, it is ran. Ran is a verb which is in past tense. It is the past tense of run. Run, ran. Well, let us look at some more irregular verbs. Teach, taught. What is the past tense of teach? Taught. Fight, fought. Draw, drew. Catch, caught. Drive, drove. Break, broke. Speak, spoke. Children, these words are irregular verbs. They take different forms. They do not follow the regular pattern of adding ed to the base form of the verbs. So, these words are called irregular verbs. Children, let's learn about present participle form of a verb. Children, what is a present participle? Well, present participle is nothing but a form of a verb. A verb that ends in ing is called the present participle form of a verb. The words like driving, riding, learning, running and eating are some of the examples of present participle forms of the verb. Children, have you noticed? For all these verbs, we are adding ing to the base verb. Look at the base word, drive. We are adding ing, drive, driving, ride, riding, learn, learning, run, running, eat, eating. The verb plus ing form can be used in a number of ways. Verb plus ing is used in continuous tenses like present continuous, past continuous and future continuous. Children, look at the word here, riding. Riding is a present participle form of a verb, isn't it? Now, let's look at the sentences here. The first one, I am riding. Children, this sentence shows present continuous tense, isn't it? The word riding is a main verb in the sentence. And the word am is a helping verb. It is a helping verb which is in present tense. I am riding. This sentence shows present continuous tense. We use the present continuous form to talk about an action that is in progress at the time of speaking. Look at the second sentence. I was riding. Children, this sentence shows past continuous tense. We use the past continuous tense form to talk about an action that was in progress at a specific time in the past. Children, look at the third sentence. I will be riding. Children, this sentence shows future continuous tense. We use future continuous tense form to talk about an action that will be in progress at a specific time in the future. And sometimes the verb plus ing form is used as a noun. This is called gerund. What is it called children? Gerund. The verb plus ing form is used as noun. Look at the examples shown here. Working is a good exercise. Running is good for health. Children, did you notice here? 
walk plus ing becomes walking walking is a good exercise the word walking is used as a noun in this sentence so walking is a gerund here running is good for health the word running is used as a noun in this sentence so the word running is called a gerund the present participle is also used as an adjective in a sentence children look at the example here i saw a dancing peacock the word dancing is a present participle form of a verb isn't it it's an ing form of the verb dance dance dancing i saw a dancing peacock the word dancing is an adjective in this sentence children when ing form of the verbs when they come before nouns they act as an adjective so in this sentence dancing is an adjective i saw a dancing peacock the word dancing acts as an adjective in this sentence children till now we learned about present tense past tense present participle and now let's learn about past participle form of the verb children the past participle of some verbs are formed by adding d ed en or t to the base form of the verb children look at the examples shown here ridden walked learned played and eaten are some of the examples of past participle form of the verbs children look at this chart this chart will help you to understand better look at the base form of the verb jump present tense of jump will be jump or jumps it depends on the subject when subject changes verb also changes according to the subject we use the verb here that is v1 is present tense verb 2 is past tense the past tense of jump is jumped the past participle of jump is jumped and the present participle of jump is jumping the second one dance present tense is dance and past tense is danced past participle is also danced and present participle is dancing play played played playing children have you seen verb 2 and verb 3 they remain the same they are not changing simple past tense and past participle they are both the same look at the fourth one smile past tense of smile is smiled past participle is also smiled and present participle is smiling all right next one look looked looked looking bake baked baked baking laugh laughed laughed laughing cook cooked cooked cooking wash washed washed washing brush brushed brushed brushing children have you observed simple past tense and past participles the both the words are same in this they follow a regular pattern that is we are adding ed to the base form of verbs so that is a the reason they are called regular verbs because they follow a regular pattern some verbs do not form their past tense and past participle by adding ed to the base form of verb there are some verbs which do not follow a regular pattern because they do not follow a regular pattern of adding ed to the base form to form past tense we call them as irregular verbs because they follow different pattern Chill and look at the verbs here. The first one, sing. Sing is the base verb. Let us see the present tense. Present tense of sing is sing, or sings. It depends on the subject. All right. When subject changes, verb also changes. Chill and what is the past tense of sing? Sang. We do not say singed. Do we say singed? Do we add ed to sing? No, we do not add. The past tense of sing is sang. and the past participle is sung 
and present participle is singing. Look at the next verb write. What is the past tense of write? Wrote. What is the past participle of write? It is written and present participle is writing. The third one begin. What is the past tense of begin? Began. Past participle is begun and present participle is beginning. Draw, drew, drawn, drawing. Drive, drove, driven, driving. Take, took, taken, taking. Throw, threw, thrown, throwing. Blow, blew, blown, blowing. Break, broke, broken, breaking. Speak, spoke, spoken, speaking. Children, these verbs are irregular verbs. However, the most important use of past participle is with has, have and had in the present, past and future tense. That is in present perfect tense, past perfect tense and future perfect tense. Look at the examples shown. I have eaten the apple. This sentence shows present perfect tense. I had eaten the apple. This sentence shows past perfect tense. I will have eaten the apple. That is, this sentence shows future perfect tense. The past participle form of a verb can be used to form the perfect tenses with the aid of a helping verb. Children, the present perfect tense of a verb is formed by using the past participle of the main verb after the helping verb has or have. Children, look at the example. I have eaten the apple. Children, the word eaten is the main verb in the sentence. Notice the helping verb here. The word have is a helping verb. Isn't it children? I have eaten the apple. Children, this sentence shows present perfect tense. Children, what is present perfect tense? Well, we use present perfect tense to say that the action has completed just now. In the sentence, I have eaten the apple, the word eaten is the past participle form of a verb. Children, the word eat is the base form of a verb, isn't it? What is the past tense of eat? Well, eight is the past tense of eat. Eat, ate, eaten. What is the present participle of eat, children? Yes, it is eating. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Well, the second one. They have reached home. The word reached is a main verb which is a past participle form of a verb. The word have is a helping verb. So this sentence shows present perfect tense. The past perfect tense of a verb is formed by using the past participle of the main verb after the helping verb had. Children, look at the examples shown here. I had eaten the apple. Children, this sentence shows past perfect tense. Children, the past perfect tense is used to refer to actions that took place and were completed in the past. Children, in this sentence, the word eaten is the past participle and the word had is a helping verb. Children, the past perfect tense of a verb is formed by using the past participle of the main verb after the helping verb had. Alright children, let us look at the second sentence. I had closed the door. This sentence also shows past perfect tense. The word closed is the past participle form of a verb and the word had is a helping verb. Alright children, this sentence also denotes the past perfect tense. The future perfect tense of a verb is formed by using the past participle of the main verb after the helping verbs will have or shall have. 
children look at the sentence i will have eaten the apple in this sentence notice the verbs which are being used here will have plus eaten which is the past participle form of the main verb eat i will have eaten the apple children this sentence shows future perfect tense The future perfect tense is used to discuss certain actions in the future that occur before another action in the future. Similarly, in the second sentence, they will have reached home by 4 o'clock. Notice the verbs which are being used here. Will have plus reached which is the past participle form of a verb reach. They will have reached home by 4 o'clock. This sentence also shows future perfect tense. The following table illustrates the different forms of a verb. Children, you can understand better by looking at the table. In this table, we can see how a verb is used in different forms in different sentences. Children, look at the verb play. Play is a base form of a verb. and let's see how this verb play is used in different sentences tony plays with the dog this sentence shows present tense tony played with the dog this sentence shows past tense tony has played with the dog this sentence shows present perfect tense children please notice the different verbs which are being used in the sentence has is a helping verb and played is a past participle form of a verb Tony is playing with the dog. This sentence shows present continuous tense. Children, please notice the verbs which are being used here. Is is a helping verb, and playing is the present participle form of a verb. Children, now let us look at the verb go and how it is used in different sentences. Tony goes to the park. This sentence shows present tense. Tony went to the park. This sentence shows past tense. Tony has gone to the park. This sentence shows present perfect tense. Children, please notice the verbs which are being used here. Has is a helping verb, and gone is a past participle form of a verb. Tony is going to the park. This sentence shows present continuous tense. Children, in today's class, we have learnt about different forms of a verb. we will continue our english class in the next session children do the given worksheet neatly in your english class work thank you